Look who's back! Actually, I'm going to close these doors because it's loud. That's what I get for having a bedroom across from the laundry room. Okay. So as you may have guessed, I have returned from my two week long trip to Europe. Primarily London and the countryside of England, but also an overnighter in Paris, which was fun. And because I am still really tired and really couldn't be bothered to think of something original, I decided that we would do a souvenirs video. I am going to try and make a video of all the video clips and pictures that I took while I was gone, but that's going to take a while, so for now you're just going to get this. And when I make that video I might do stories about the stuff that happened. I'm also hoping that this video isn't going to have a whole lot of editing because I'm still tired. Okay, let's dive right in with souvenirs. The first thing I bought was this Slytherin Harry Potter leather bound notebook from the British Library, which is very, very cool. And from there I don't really remember the order that I bought things in, so I'm just going to show you guys what I bought randomly. I would like to point out at this point that I don't actually like spending money if I don't have to, so this trip where I actually bought stuff really astounded my family. My older sister and I went out to buy a birthday card and bought lemonade instead, so yay! It's summer! <sighs> Yummy. I also got the fantastic opportunity to go to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in outside Watford, and most of you probably have figured out by now that I am a massive Harry Potter nerd. And they have this thing where you can sit on a broom in Hogwarts robes and have your picture taken, so I got this. I got this, which was very, very fun, and it's me playing Quidditch. I was wearing my Slytherin shirt, and you're on a green screen, so all the green of the shirt has been removed. You can kind of probably see it where the green on the sleeves is uh, gray. But yes, this was so much fun. If you ever get the chance to do it and you're a Harry Potter fan, I highly recommend it because it was a Astounding for me. I love it. Also while I was at the studio tour, I bought this Slytherin crest necklace. There's a Deathly Hallows symbol on it as well, but I got that later. And I also bought this shirt, which is very, very fun. It's got, it's got Hogwarts on the back and the Hogwarts crest on the front. I was going to get a Slytherin shirt, but then it was like, it didn't fit right, it was just kind of weird, so I didn't get it. Which is fine. And then next, if you haven't already noticed, is this new shirt, which has the Wicked Witch of the West and Defy Gravity on it, because I went and saw Wicked, and I cried my eyes out. Oh my goodness, it was amazing. Which is like the softest shirt I have ever owned with a couple exceptions and it is so comfortable and nice and cool and defy gravity, y'all. Okay, this next thing seems a little weird, but in my family we have this tradition where if we go somewhere, we get an ornament, a Christmas ornament that we put on our Christmas tree during Christmas time, obviously. And we have done it for as long as I can remember and it is just kind of fun and so when we go on a vacation or whatever we get an ornament and sometimes it's hard to find an ornament so when it's hard to find an ornament I usually get a keychain so here is my London keychain it's got a double-decker bus London red phone box the Union flag or Union Jack I can't remember what it's supposed to be called now, and the clock tower, because it is not Big Ben. Big Ben is the bell inside the clock tower. And then for my overnighter trip in Paris, I got this keychain. I don't know if you can see it any better. This is, uh, this is some church that I am unfamiliar with, and this is the Arc de Triomphe, which is pretty cool. And then, obviously, the Eiffel Tower. So those are my Christmas ornaments, which were just kind of fun. And then we went to Portobello Market, which is just this really long street that has antique shops. But on Saturdays, they have stalls out in front, and it's kind of like what we would call a farmer's market, where there are just stalls selling 
antiques and food and fun stuff like that. And I bought this lovely necklace. It's got a rose on the front and a very pretty design on the back. And because this kind of thing is in nowadays, it's also a pocket watch. And I have left it on England time because one, I'm lazy, and two, I'm really, really sentimental. And because I am a giant nerd, I rarely go on a big trip without getting a notebook from that trip. And this is the, a part of the map of the London Underground, which is just kind of fun because I love it. And I don't know if you guys know this, but at the actual King's Cross station, they have a nine and three quarters thing set up. And the line to take your picture with the trolley halfway in the wall was super long, so I didn't do it because I'd already had my picture taken with a trolley that was set in the wall at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Anyway, as many of you know, I am a very proud Slytherin, and I really enjoy the fact that I am actually a pretty good person most of the time and in Slytherin because it shows that Slytherins can be good people, okay? So I bought these gloves, which have the crest hiding under it, because they don't have fingers and then this bit just flips and pulls up. They're actually really nice and comfortable. And the matching scarf, of course. It was also at this shop at Platform 9 and 3 quarters in King's Cross Station where I bought the Deathly Hallows necklace that I later just added the Slytherin crest to because it was just kind of fun and they fit, so. Harry Potter themed necklace. That's so much fun. I am such a nerd. And if you didn't already believe me that I am a huge Harry Potter fan, I also bought this, which is a very, very pretty and fancy platform nine and three quarters ticket. And I just, I really want to go to Hogwarts, guys. I'm not even kidding. But leaving London and Paris and big cities behind now, we went out to the countryside for a while, which was really nice and peaceful and really just beautiful. Some of the houses have thatched roofs. Thatched roofs. It's cool and weird and fairy tale like and I just love England. I want to go back. Anyway, while we were out in the country, we went to Oxford University, which was really, really cool. And while I was there, I bought two shirts, actually. This nice short sleeve one that says Oxford established 1231 on this sleeve. And this nice long sleeve one because I only own like four long sleeve shirts and I live in a state that's really cold that has the British flag on the sleeve. I also bought tons of chocolate, including three Kinder Eggs because they're banned in America and the toys are over there and I don't really want to go get them, but they're little Justice League characters, so I got two Supermans and a Robin, which was fun. I also ordered the English hardback versions of the Harry Potter books that I don't already own. I have two, four, and five, so I needed one, three, six, and seven. But those didn't get here in time, so I can show you later. And surprisingly, that's all I bought. But honestly, it was the trip of a lifetime, and I'll have to tell you guys more about it later. And I hope this... I don't know what I hope this one hoped to achieve. Anyway. I hope you guys all have a great day, week, month, year, you know all that. I love you guys. Thanks for putting up with my absence while I was gone. And I hope because it's summertime I will be able to make a whole bunch of new videos. And I'll see you later, dreamers. I guess I could tell the story about when we saw the queen. That'll be later. And they have this thing where you can sit on a broom in, uh... And they have this thing where you can sit on a broom in, uh, of Hogwarts robes. <sighs> Could I do this without being awkward?